Greetings, I am Princess Maria Saronio, a second year BS Arc student, currently 19 years of age. Clyde William Tombaugh was born on the 4th of February in 1906 in Seattle, Illinois. His father was Maron Bialvo Tombaugh, a farmer, and his mother was Adela Pearl Triton. Clyde Tombaugh had five siblings. When he was an infant, his family moved to Birday in Kansas. Unfortunately, his plan to go to college had to be postponed because of a hailstorm that ruined his family's crops. Not wanting to be idle, in 1926, Tomba built his telescopes using different mirrors and lenses. He sent detailed observations of Mars and Jupiter to the Lowell Observatory and this opened an opportunity for him to work there. The creation of his very first telescope when he was just 20 years old had set him on the path of discovering the very first dwarf planet known to man. Tomba noticed such a moving object in his search near the place predicted by Lowell, and subsequently, observation showed it to have an orbit beyond that of Neptune. This ruled out the possibility that it was considered an asteroid, and they decided this was the ninth planet that Lowell had predicted. The discovery was made on Tuesday, February 18, 1930. The name was first proposed by an 11-year-old English schoolgirl named Venetia Burney, and its favor was that the Pluto of Roman mythology was able to render himself invisible and that its first two letters formed Percival Lowell's initials. In his lifetime, Clyde made himself 30 telescopes being unimpressed with store-bought ones. While he was working at Lowell Observatory, he met Patricia Edison in Arizona whom he married. Then they had two lovely children, Alden and Annette. Tomba worked at the Lowell Observatory for 14 years, having impressed the astronomers who were working there with his drawings of Mars and Jupiter. It was his discovery of Pluto on the 18th of February 1930 that earned him a permanent place in the roster of prominent astronomers. He made this discovery before he finished his degree. Tombaugh died on January 17, 1997 in Las Cruces, New Mexico at the age of 90, and he was cremated. A small portion of his ashes was then placed aboard the New Horizons spacecraft.